guys, it's Hermione and today's video is going to be really different and I'm really excited to show you guys. So today I'm partnering up with Candy Club to show you guys their monthly candy subscription box but do not fear because there are still going to be some DIYs in this video because you know my channel there are always DIYs. I've seen Candy Club all over YouTube and I was dying to try it out for myself. The idea of coming home to a bunch of candy on your doorstep every month is really exciting to me and you don't have to do it every month. You could do a one-off subscription or you can even send this to a friend. This would make such a good gift because who doesn't like candy? So I'm gonna unbox this, test some of the candies and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the packaging that it came in to show you guys how to make some DIYs. So let's go and get into this box. So first of all, like I said, the packaging is so cute. It's got little cherries all over it. And when I saw this, I was like so excited to unwrap it. It shipped really quickly too. It shipped in like only a few days. So I was very surprised. So this is what it looks like on the inside and it's wrapped up really nicely. So it definitely would make a really lovely gift for someone or like, you know, for yourself. So underneath the sticker, it's packaged really well and there's actually like tons of toffees in there. I wasn't expecting that. There are three candy tubs and this is what they look like. They're actually huge. Like there's so many candies in there. First of all, I'm going to try some of the toffees that were in the box and they're in really interesting flavors like vanilla and maple. This one's vanilla. Oh, that's good. Mm. Okay. The vanilla one tastes like vanilla fudge, but in toffee form. So it's chewy. I'm going to try the maple one too. Mmm. It tastes like pancakes. That one's so good. And it's nice because these came as an extra. I didn't think these came in the box. I'm gonna start with the Albanese Sour Poppers. So this is what the Sour Poppers look like and they've got like cute little smiley faces on them. So, uh, mm. oh, that's really good. That was a green one. Let's try an orange. Mm. They all taste different. Okay. The green and the orange ones are my favorites. But these are so good and look how many you get. That's literally like a month's worth of candy right there. Well, unless you're me, because this is going to be gone in a few days. But if you have self-restraint like any normal person, you'll be able to make these last for a few weeks. These are cherry soft chews. I was debating between cherry or orange cream and I was like, that's a difficult decision, but I went for the cherries. Mmm. I thought these were going to be really hard, like wine gums, but they're hard on the outside when you bite into them. They're kind of still like a little chewy. They are so strongly cherry flavored and the flavor lasts for a really long time. These are really good and I know they come in a bunch of flavors. So if there's a specific flavor that you love, you should try those ones. And lastly, I did get sour gummy worms, which are probably pretty similar to these, but I am a sucker for anything sour and I love sour candy. So let's get into these. Okay, this is a gummy worms. Mmm. Okay. Those are really sour. I'm about to sit here and eat this whole thing, so bear with me. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Let me try this one. These are hands down the best gummy worms I've ever had. I have successfully tried all of them and they all taste really good. So I probably might go ahead and finish these right now. So now I have to go and eat all of these candies so that I can make some stuff out of the packaging. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna make yet because I've just unboxed it, but you guys are about to see pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go start eating these and prepare to make some DIYs. So if you'd like to see those, keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to make out of the packaging is this cute little succulent pot. So I'm going ahead and taking the packaging and I've painted it purple with a spray paint. And then I'm using an oil based paint pen and I'm just creating two wobbly lines along the top and the bottom and adding this kind of wreath effect. So just adding little leaves all over going in two opposite directions. I filled in some of them in black as well to give it some variation and to smooth out some of the kind of bumpy looking ones. I wanted a kind of sketchy illustrated look so that's what I went for and then I went ahead and scrunched up some tissue paper and put it in as some filler and then I used some plastic succulents and arranged them in the pot. You could use anything you want instead of the tissue paper like some sand or some rocks but this is what mine looks like and obviously you can go wild with the design but this is just a way you can upcycle some old packaging you might have lying around the house. 
So the next thing I'm going to show you how to make is this tea light holder and this is for fake tea lights just so you know because it is made of plastic so once again I'm taking the container and marking on a piece of paper the height and then just using a ruler to cut this out of scrapbook paper you can use wrapping paper or whatever you'd like and to add a design I'm using a hole punch along each edge just so that the light will shine through it and make a pretty pattern in the dark and I'm just using Mod Podge to glue that onto the edge of the container once that's done, literally so easy, right? I put the tea light in, and once again, this is a fake tea light. Do not use real candles with this. And I just let it go. And this makes really nice patterns on the wall when it's dark, but this wouldn't show up on camera, but just trust me on this one. And with this DIY, obviously you can use any pattern or print that you would like to make this unique. This next DIY is a hack that you can use with any kind of old metal scraps or anything you have from your packaging. So I'm taking these little lids and I'm literally just putting them on the wall and using them as tiny little magnet boards. This would look so cute in a locker or in a small space. And I'm just using them to hold my Polaroids and you can swap them out and swap out whatever you want on them. But I thought this was a really fun idea and it's obviously not really a DIY but it's such a cute way to add a little bit of personality to your space. That is everything I have for this video. Let me know if you're going to try any DIY.